What's up everyone? It's Sydney and this is your 30 minute back and biceps workout. So grab your dumbbells and let's get started. What's up everyone? I'm so excited that you're here today for our back and biceps workout. We've only got 30 minutes together so we're going to work hard as soon as our warm up is done all the way through to the cool down and make sure you stick around for the cool down as well. Okay? So grab your water and your sweat towel and your dumbbells. The lightest exercise that I'm going to do today will be something like a back fly, so a bent arm back fly. Mine will probably be around the 10 or 15 pound range all the way up to hammer curls and bent rows where I'll try to push up into my 30s for the bent rows. If you have those straps or your wrist grips, if you want to grab those, go ahead and pull them out. If you would like to grab a bench so you can kind of help yourself and stabilize, that's okay as well, all right? But this is all I'm operating with today. Let's go ahead and jump into your warm up. Big cross over your body in three, two, one, let's go. Good, open your chest and then round your back just a little bit. Great job. Throughout the workout today, I'm gonna to challenge you to stay moving, to progress in your challenges, okay? So if round one isn't hard enough, let's go up in round two, okay? Arms past your hips and over your head. Great work. I want you in those final reps of each set of 30 seconds to really be pulling today. Great job, arms straight out, feet are a little bit wider and let's twist, twist. Good. Just a little thoracic rotation. And great job, fold down in front, hands on the mat. There you go, reach your left hand across over to the right side, big stretch. And same thing, switch it over. And switch. And switch. Great job, keep your hands here. All right, plank position. And let's drop it down. Open up your back. Good, twist your left shoulder and your right shoulder. Rotating just a bit. Great job, and your first exercise, we're gonna go right into it, is a push up and a single arm fly, okay? So you're gonna go one push up, squeeze your arm back and down. Ready? You can go to your knees if you need to. Let's go. Push up, squeeze, and back down. I just want you getting into the practice of retracting your shoulder blade. So pulling it in towards your spine. Great job. Seven. And rest. Perfect. Good. Two more rounds of that. Okay, if you can go to your toes, let's do it. But I do want you to come right up and squeeze back. Ready? Four, three, two, one. Let's go. Wide push up, fly. Good, and don't rush the fly. Squeeze, return. And as you're pushing away, think of your biceps pushing your arms straight. Good, four, three, two, one, rest. And your very last round, we're gonna go all the way down for a double arm fly, AKA a Superman. So you're gonna go down, fly, push up. Okay, we've been alternating, now let's do both arms together. And then we'll move into our work. Two, one, lower, Superman, squeeze, push up. Right before you take off in your push-up, pull your belly in. Okay, belly, chest, hips all come up together. There you go. 10. Two. 
two, one. Amazing work. All right, let's go into it. Curl and wide row. We're moving in activation still with the combo, but now we're adding dumbbells, okay? So curl and wide row. You're gonna go here, curl, okay? Then you're gonna take your hands together, hook back, okay? Wide row. All right, I'm gonna start with my tens. Let's go in three, two, one. Here we go. Curl from here, wide row. Great job. And straighten up, hinge, pull back. Ten, nine. Three, two, one. Great job. You've got two more rounds of that. If you can go up, let's try. Okay, don't rush the form here, especially on the row. Okay, it's super easy to just kind of fling. Control that wide row. Ready? Let's go. Round two. Elbows stay down on the curl. Ten more seconds, good job. Two, one, great job. You've got one last round. If you can go heavier, I want you to try. If you wanna stay right there, keep the form, keep the pace, push yourself. We're doing it together. Three, two, let's go. Oh, I got two different weights here. <laughs> keep going. Like, man, that left arm feels really heavy. <laughs> 15. Six, five. Two, one, and rest. Great job. All right. We'll have to let Dustin actually put my weights up for me today. We'll have to let him know he got him out of order. <laughs> All right, we're moving up next into bent rows. Okay, feel free to go on a bench or on the floor. Okay, where you can stay standing and just hinge right here. Okay, I'm gonna go down to the floor and we're gonna alternate left arm, right arm. Okay, the whole 30 seconds. We go in five. Big deep breath. Two, one, engage your core, pull back. There you go. Nice, don't let your belly round here or if you're standing here, keep it neutral. Good job, let's go, seven. Two, one, rest, good job. Can you go up? Same thing, two more rounds. If you can, let's try. Here we go, two, one, and we're off. Fifteen seconds. Six. One more. Two. One. All right, one more round. Feel like you can go up. Go ahead and go. I'm gonna stay right here with my 30s. Okay, pull hard. Make sure it's not just curled into your armpit, but your back is flexing back. Two, one, let's go. Good, come on, big flex. Ten. 
Captain. Three, two, one, and rest. Great job. All right, we're moving into your heaviest bicep move of the day, hammer curls. I like to keep them alternating here. So we focus on one at a time. Okay, I'm gonna start with my 20s. All right, so we're here. Alternating left and then right. Okay, ready? Let's go in five. You're ready, come on. Three, two, one, come on. Big pull. Elbow stays facing the ground. Good. Just think of the bicep, pulling your forearm towards your upper arm. 10. Four. Two, one, rest. Great job. Round two, same thing. I'm gonna stay here, try to go up in round three for myself. Okay, let's go, five. Keep those elbows pointed down, chest up, and here we go. Good, close your eyes if you need to, totally fine. Nice work, 12. Keep the elbow down, let's go, five, four, Three, two, one, rest, and one more round. Here we go. Show yourself what you've got. You're strong, let's get stronger together. Five, three, two, come on. Come on, don't dive into it, pull upward. 10, great job, five more seconds, come on, four, three, two, one, and rest, finish that rep, you're on, beautiful job, all right, take a little breather, Whew. we're moving on, another back exercise, Okay, but grab some water first. <sighs> All right, great job. This one, you have the opportunity to do standing or on the ground, but we're in a supinated position here. So palms are facing forward. A little bit of a wider stance for your row. It's an underhand row, okay? So you're pulling back here. Okay, notice my hand and my hip, same plane of motion. So it's not outward here not back around my back. Straight back. I'm flexing my lats to get it back there. Okay, alternating underhand row. Right after that, we're going back into curls, of course, so back to the biceps. But in 15 seconds, let's go alternating underhand. Okay? And if you're doing this on the floor, palms are gonna stay facing forward. All right, right here. Ready? Three, two, one, come on. Good, elbow goes back, glides past the ribs as you exhale. Great job, come on. Feel your back flex back. 10. Four. Three, two, one, good. All right, two more rounds. I'm gonna go up here, I'm gonna go up next round. I'm gonna stay right here and get the whole set in. Let's go, step it up how you can. Three, two, one, let's go. Another way to step it up is to perfect your form as you get tired. Your form wants to fail when you get tired. Fight hard to maintain it. This one's easy to really bob your chest down toward the dumbbell. 
Resist that urge. Four. Two. One. Good. One more time. Here we go. And if you feel your back starting to get tired, support yourself here. Okay? Three, two, one. Come on. Great job, 15. Seven. Take it back, three, two, one. And rest, amazing work. And grab some water, good job. I'm giving you intentional rest here in between your upper body circuits. Okay, so feel free. Jog in place if you're not feeling the rest today. But I need to get fuel back into your muscles so we can really accomplish all we need to out of this pull workout. Okay. Supinated curls, four rounds here. One arm at a time, okay? Open palm, just like you did on the underhand row, a supinated position, like you're holding a bowl of soup. Okay, palm is forward. We're going supinated curls now. Okay, so let's start in about 10 seconds with the left arm. Okay, make sure shoulder is back, doesn't roll forward here. Chest is open, five, four, two, one, let's go. Good, keep the elbow pointed down. See where my elbow is here? It doesn't come out away from my body to get this scoop under. Okay, it stays facing down. I'm just closing my elbow and then I'm opening it up, showing it back to you. Okay? Three, two, one, rest. Same arm, same arm in 15 seconds. We're gonna do three each arm. I think I said four. We're gonna do three each arm. Okay, go up if you can. Left arm, let's go. Three, two, one, come on. Good job. 15 more seconds on this arm. Fight for it, come on, six, five. Two, one, rest, good. And you've got one more time on this arm. If you can go heavier, try it. Even if you only get half of the set. Let's try that. Okay, keep it all you've got. Four, three, two, one, come on. Good job, come on, fight for it. 15. Nobody's like us. When people see us, four, three, two, one, rest. And we're swinging it over to the right arm. Okay, three rounds on the right arm. Then we go on to some hinged flies for your back. Okay, five seconds. Right arm, ready? Come on, you're ready. Two, one, let's go. Exhale with every rep. Ten. Three, two, one, and great job, rest. One more time there, or two more times there, sorry. <laughs> two more rounds there. <sighs> and then we're going to some flies. Great job on the strength workout. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Three, two, right arm, let's go. Good. 
Good, make sure you check in often. Is your shoulder rolling forward? Keep it up and back. Ten more seconds. Five. Can you give me one more? Three, two, rest, good. All right, I'm gonna try again. Same thing, you saw me fail last time on the left arm, just try it, okay? Failure's not bad, failure means you're pushing past what you're used to. We're pushing into what scares you, both of which, good things. Two, one, let's go. Try not to swing it. Fifteen. Good, stay with me, come on, come on. Five. Three, two, one, and rest. Great job. Grab water. We're going into bent arm flies. Okay, I'm gonna pop down to my lightest weight. I'm gonna go for starting with a 10. Okay, so you're gonna hinge up top here. You can choose your grip. So it's either here, neutral grip, hands facing each other, but your elbows stay at this angle. So if you wanna go here or here, totally up to you. All right, but what we're doing is hooking back, just like this. Okay, so think of a back fly and just bending your arms. Go right here. Ready? Two, one, let's go. Sometimes if you bend your arms, you can get a little bit heavier weight than your regular long arm fly. And the objective is to pull your shoulder blades back towards each other. And just make sure you're not bobbing. Watch this. This is not what you want, okay? You want here. Two, one, rest. So if there's any of this going on as you're pulling, you're using momentum too much. Keep this still. Dig the heels in so your glutes are flexed. Squeeze and release. Round two. Two, one, let's go. Good, 15. And don't lift upward, we're going backwards. Not up towards your ears, towards your spine. Five. Two, one. Ah, nice job. If you can go heavier, do it, but do not sacrifice your form. I'm gonna stay right here with my tens because I feel it really well with this weight. I'm afraid if I go up to 15s, I'll start that bobbing that I told you we need to avoid. Let's go, round three, come on. Good work. Nine, eight, three, two, and rest. Great job, we are almost there. We're gonna go for a bicep move and then a builder, okay? A back and bicep, two exercises, you go up, like a staircase, up one, up two, up three, up four, okay? So this next one, last bicep isolation move. We're gonna go cross body, hammer curls with an internal rotation. So you just think of taking your pinky from facing back here to bringing it across, turn it, okay? Right here, let's go in seven. I'm starting with my 15s. Four, three, two, one, come on. Don't scoop it. So you're not going here, okay? None of this. Keep it down, elbows here. Good. Start the curl hammer as you curl, then pull the pinky in. So don't try and come here, then cross over. Four. 
four, three, two, one. Great job. If you can go up, here's your chance. All right, here we go. You're doing great. Five, four, two, one. Come on. Keep your chest up. I'm telling you, anytime you feel this happening, the wrong muscles are adding to the bicep move. Synergistic dominance is that kind of phenomena of having all of your other muscles chime in so that the isolation of using your bicep alone isn't fully executed. Yes, you're moving it, but a lot of the helper muscles are taking over the load. Two, one, one last round right here. Can you go heavier? All right, I'm gonna try. Same thing, if you fail, your dumbbells are literally two inches from you to drop down. <laughs> Don't worry about it, just keep going. Let's go. I like to look up a lot of times to make sure chest stays open. Good job, come on. Seven. Two, one, and rest. Good job. Whew. Okay, we've got a builder. Okay, three minutes. You can go down to your knees if you need to. We've got a bent row and a bicep curl ladder. Okay, so I'm gonna start with, start with my 20s. As I get higher, I'll probably drop to my 15s. Okay, but here we go. You've got one, and two, roll it up, one and two. You go back down, you go to four, okay? Grab your weights. Let's go in two, one, come on, two of each. You keep climbing, you go to four of each, six of each. Good. Good, one rep at a time. Great job. Great job, and I find it sometimes easier when I'm done with my rows to just walk my knees up between the dumbbells, use my glutes to come up to neutral, okay? So if that helps, there's a tip. Your first minute is officially done. Minute number two, here we go. Keep going. Come on, keep breathing. Great work. Good job, come on, come on. A minute 30 done. So here we are in the second half of this burnout. Come on, let's keep building. Nice work, come on, come on. I believe in you, we've got one minute to go together. And we can finish strong. See if you can get to that next number sequence, okay? That's it, come on. You've got just about 30 seconds to go. Let's see how high we can get. Come on, keep building. Keep your chest up on the curls. Fifteen seconds. Five. Four, three, two, 
one and rest. And you have made it to your cool down. Amazing job. Whew. Great work. I'm so proud of you. Go ahead and stand up, shake your arms out. Let's cool it down. Way to go. Slowly start to kind of open up your chest. There we go. We made it. 30 minute strength workout and I hope every rep for you today was a rep that you said, I'm gonna go hard here. This is not just me coasting through a workout that is a strength based workout. It is me saying every rep I have the opportunity, hands up, to get stronger. If I'm executing this workout in a way that says oh, I've got 30 minutes, I've got to kill here, you know, just gotta get through it. You will have a different outcome in the long run than if you take every single rep as your opportunity to push yourself. Swing it up and over top. Great job. A lot of these moves help with those of you who are trying to get better at pull-ups. Okay, those of you who are trying to stay strong in your deadlifts, right? Pull your fingers under, stretch out your forearms. Back and biceps workout, you might seem, or it might feel like, oh, this is just an upper body workout, just for people that want to get upper body definition, but it's truly to help you be the most fit and strong overall athlete, okay? Your back muscles used in just about 99% of everything you do, okay? It's keeping your spine safe. So if those muscles are weak, or if your hips are so tight that they can't fully flex, you're doing yourself a disadvantage. That's why I always warm up or cool down with that stretch, opening your hips up, okay? The back is used in everything. A lot of you say, I, I'm not sure that I'm doing deadlifts right, my back always hurts. We've gotta make sure your back is strong enough to handle the weight that your legs and glutes can handle. Okay, so speaking of that last stretch, let's come on down. Okay, plank position, then drop your hips down. Okay, if this is super tight for you, I want you to continue to do this daily. Okay, it's okay to stretch daily in the same stretches. You have to identify where you're tight, stretch everywhere around it, and continue to stretch your whole body. But the things that we did today, yes, they will help your upper body get stronger, see more definition, but also they're gonna help your leg workouts. They're gonna help your ab workouts. They're gonna help your cardio workouts. They're gonna help your full body workouts. They're gonna help you carry groceries into the house, reach your hips up and back without getting injured, okay? The back is such a functional part of everything you do. Great job. All right, slowly make your way up. Continue to stretch, continue to move. Your body, your body's designed to move, so continue to move it. Hook your arm on the back of a wall, turn away, keep opening up, and just keep moving. Keep getting stronger, okay? I'll be right back here for you tomorrow. I'm so proud of you today. Make sure you check out everything in the description. The Sydney Squad is rocking so many transformations in there, people just continuing to better their lives in whatever way they need it. I'd love to help you do that as well. I'd love to have you join that community and use those tools there. So if you need any more assistance outside of this workout, I'd love to add more value to your life and to your journey. Great job today. Before you head out, if you wouldn't care, do me a quick favor and give this video a thumbs up. Then subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification so I can let you know when your next workout is up. And I'll see you then. Bye everyone.